What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm absolutely pumped up. As Emmanuel quickly has just been named to the All-NBA Rookie Sec team and I'm excited. I'm happy right now. Anytime a member of the New York Knicks gets an achievement or, or an award, I'm happy for them. Like I'm really proud of Emmanuel quickly. Tom Thibodeau, Coach of the Year. Julius Randle, Most Improved Player. Named to an All-Star Game. The New York Knicks? Going to the playoffs, winning over 40 games, we definitely did not expect that at all. You could say we we definitely overachieved this season as much as I love this roster and this group of guys. I'm never going to forget this basketball team at all, even though we didn't go that far in the playoffs. You still got to be happy with the season, the amount of improvement. We've always wanted improvement and we finally got it this season. So I know there's some New York Knicks fans out there that are really upset that Emmanuel quickly was not named to the all-rookie first team, but I'm not that upset when you really take a look at the full picture of things. 25th overall pick? Like, made an all-rookie team, you gotta be pumped up about that. You really do. I remember I wanted Tyrell Terry really bad out of Stanford. Like, I thought he had a lot of potential, but that definitely hasn't worked out in a Mavericks uniform. But who knows, maybe maybe if he went to a different destination, he would have been a different player. But that's someone I really, really wanted at the time. Emmanuel quickly isn't someone, like, I hated. Like, I didn't mind the pick. I wasn't, like, booing the pick or anything like that. I actually did some research on him. Shout out to Hoop Intellect. I actually watched, like, some videos of him or that video of him when he really broke him down like out of Kentucky and I really thought we originally traded up to get a Tyrese Maxey but Emmanuel quickly 25th overall pick like didn't even play in the first preseason game we thought he was going to be a guy that maybe was in the J League we know rookies don't get a lot of burn with Tom Thibodeau but off off the bench he actually got a lot of burn and he actually ended up hitting some like big time momentum changing shots like if it was in the playoffs of like game one we ended up losing that game but when we were down a lot he definitely was the key reason like we ended up crawling back into that basketball game we we love the floater in his arsenal and he carries himself with like so much confidence and a certain swagger to him he, it's like he's a veteran out there on the court like he's not afraid to take any shot but if he do, does want to end up like developing into that point guard of the future if that's his mindset he definitely has ways to go as a playmaker and decision making not shooting so early in the shot clock but he is a rookie he's going to go through his ups and downs for sure but i definitely do look at him more of a, as like a lou williams maybe or a guy like Brent Forbes that can give you instant impact off the bench of shooting the basketball. But yeah, he definitely went through some ups and downs. Like he was really strong at the beginning of the season. Some people were saying like rookie of the year, like he was playing that good. But yeah, distributing the basketball, um, really knowing when to jump the passing lanes. But he's proven he could draw fouls at like a young age. Like I just love the way he's carried himself. But do I think he should have made it over Jay Sean Tate when you take a look at the importance of like the team and the way he impacted a team going to the playoffs? Yes, I do. As much as much as I like Jay Sean Tate on the defense side of the basketball, he still has ways to go offensively. I definitely do think his points were misleading. He can't control that, but he was on like a not great basketball team. Christian Wood being out a lot of the games. Of course, Kevin Porter Jr. was there, but that just wasn't a really good group of players like of course they could whoop me but i'm talking about like nba standards of going to the playoffs being one of the worst teams in the league but i do like jay sean tate i think he can maybe be on an all defensive team i'm not saying Emmanuel quickly will be like some all-star but i definitely do think he should have made it over jay sean tate when it comes to the importance of the team but yeah there's different values when it comes to any nba team and i'm not going to take jay sean tate's like award or achievement away from him i actually really do like sadiq bay i love the way he moves without the basketball good catch and shoot player i would say he's better on the defense side of the basketball then um in a manual quickly i really liked him coming out of villanova that's actually a prospect i really coveted or not coveted really took a look at when it came to the 2020 nba draft but i'm pumped up for manual quickly he really deserved this and i'm happy for him for sure anytime a new york nick gets an achievement thank you guys so much for watching and peace out y'all